Welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, it appears that Google is forcing you to use their proxy servers. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how you can build your own so you're not forced by Google. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Company browsing restrictions can cause a lot of trouble. They often use an extensive directory of forbidden websites that keep you out Oh, a whole but a few popular sites. In some cases, some of the non, some of the conventional proxy servers work, and even Google Translate fails. You can learn how to create a proxy server in minutes if you run into these issues. After learning the steps that I'm going to articulate, you may decide there's no need to, to know how to set up your own uh, proxy server. If so, you'll need to know how to set up a VPN at home. So, uh, let's. Let's talk about what a proxy server is before I get into it. A proxy is a server that works as an intermediary between you and the internet. Many businesses use proxy servers for security since they can act as a firewall or keep user data private. You can also use a proxy to bypass firewalls, letting you browse freely despite network restrictions. Here's how to make a proxy server. What do you need? There are a few things you need if you want to create a proxy server. Web host, which is any web host will do if it complies with the other requirements. You might use an old computer in your basement or even a free online web host. Next, we have the PHP 7 or greater and the CURL. Look for this on your web host site. If it's a paid hosting service, you can almost count on seeing it. CURL is a feature most free servers disable. Next, we have the permission. Some web hosts will explicitly forbid you from creating a proxy server online or chat room for that matter in their terms of content. You can expect them to find out if you do. Number one, use an online proxy through PHP proxy. PHP proxy is a free standalone PHP script. That means it's lightweight and incredibly easy to configure. You can download it from the website. Next, upload the files to a subdirectory on your web server. You must avoid using the word proxy because some companies pick up on it. Instead, use web or surf. There are different, there are a few different ways to upload your files after you learn how to create proxy server possibilities with your computer. Here, they're arranged from the least to the most effort needed. Next, we have upload and unpack zip. Look in the file manager for an unpack or extract option. Depending on your web host, what this looks like and how you access it may differ. Ask your hosting service for help if you can't find it. You can then extract the proxy files to your public directory. Next, the FTP access. You can also use an FTP application to access your web host and let it transfer the files while you fetch some more coffee. Most hosts support this option. And then next we have manual upload. You don't want to uh, do this unless there's no choice. Your last resolve will be to manually upload all the files and folder structures or look for a different host. It might not be such a bad idea. Uh, number two, uh, finish installing your online proxy. There's only one real step needed after you've installed these files. Edit the config.php file to add a random value to the, uh, Peter put that on the screen, that, that code, between the quotation marks. Once you've filled in that field, save the file and your proxy is ready to use. Just point your browser to the directory where you put all those files, like the example, example domain.com slash surf and PHP proxy will pop up. You can then type whatever URL you want it you want in the search bar and browse freely. Once you set up PHP proxy, you can use it however you like. Proxies like this hide your IP address so you can search anonymously, which also helps you access restricted content. Number three, learn how to make a proxy website secure and install SSL encryption. While you could use PHP proxy with no extra steps, it's not ideal. 
If you want to use a proxy server safely, you should also install SSL encryption, which PHP proxy doesn't include by default. Thankfully, this step is quick and easy too. There's a free automated certificate tool called CertBot. You'll want to install, visit the website, which will give you customized instructions for installing it based on your operating system and server. Anytime you see your domain name.com in the command script during installation, replace it with your actual domain name. At the end of the process, CertBot will ask if you want to redirect all traffic to HTTPS. This is the safest option for using this proxy server online. So here is how to set up proxy using Windows 10. If you use Windows 10, there's an even easier way to use a proxy. Here's how to set up a proxy server using Windows 10 built-in settings. First, open your settings, then click the section, copy, I mean, click proxy, then toggle on automatically detect settings if necessary. Turn the use script the turn up, turn the used setup script on, then enter the script address for whatever proxy you want. Once you click save, Windows will automatically run your internet traffic through your proxy. If Windows is your proxy, you can set it up manually under the proxy settings. Switch use a proxy server under manual proxy setup on. Instead of entering the script address, you'll have to enter your proxy's IP address and port number. You should be able to uh, get this information from your provider. Once you fill out these fields, click save and you can use your proxy. When you know how to set up a proxy server in Windows 10 or on your own, you can use the internet how you choose. You can access Facebook when blocked protect yourself from malicious websites, and even save on bandwidth. If you'd prefer to leave the hard work to someone else, you can use a popular web proxy instead. You can also bypass blocked sites without a proxy if you don't want to go through the trouble. If your Firefox proxy server isn't connecting or you get a proxy server error in Windows 10, will help you, you know, they'll help you fix the issue. Now, how to make proxy servers with Windows 11. Just like Windows 10, Windows 11 has built-in proxy server settings. The quickest way to open them is to press the Windows key and type in change proxy settings. The first option that pops up should take you to the correct settings. Turn on automatically detect settings, then click setup next to use setup script. Turn on use setup script and enter your proxy script address in the dialog box that appears, then click save. If you want to you if you want to set up your proxy settings manually, click setup under manual proxy setup in the proxy settings pane. Uh, switch use a proxy server on, then enter the IP address and port number of your proxy. You can also enter addresses you don't want to run through your proxy. Once you filled in everything, click save. Now. Uh, create, create proxy server options and browse with more freedom and security. Creating a proxy server seems highly technical, but you can get one running in minutes. Follow the, the steps that I you know, kind of talked about uh, before to regain control over your internet activity. No matter what operating system you use, you can use a proxy server with minimal effort. You can then browse freely without security or privacy concerns. So uh, let me know how it goes for you in the comment section as you are doing this process. And if I can help, I surely will. Uh, please click the notification bell. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share this content, this video. I appreciate your viewership and see you on the next video.